What's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. I've been really thinking about how cool it would be if there could just be like a camera that was still compact, but still able to shoot full frame, but also have like kind of like a new look to it. Oh, well, would you look at that? So as you probably can tell by the title of this video, Sony just came out with yet again, another camera. This time it is a small, compact, full frame camera Oh, and it's got a little bit of a silver to it. This is the new Sony Alpha 7C. This is gonna be very, very interesting. I have been vlogging for the past 10 years of my life. I've gone through a lot of different vlogging stages of my life where I would be using small cameras to massive mirrorless cameras with big lenses. And Sony has kind of come out with a pretty high-end vlogging camera. Now, I'm excited to try this out. Let's talk about some of the specs. But can we talk about the silver for a second? It just looks so good. Now Sony has sent me this as a review unit. This is not at all sponsored. They sent this to me early to try out and I'm going to take off the stickers. Pretty sure that's frowned upon, but I'll put them back before I send it back. So this is gonna be really interesting because this is in fact full frame, it's smaller, it's lighter, it's more compact. It also does use the Z battery, which is what Sony has moved to in their newer cameras. So it's the bigger battery on a smaller body. I'm also noticing that it has a different grip to it. This has like a little bit of a textured grip, which is pretty nice. Now who this camera would be targeted to would be more lifestyle users or anyone who might be new to full frame. Definitely someone who's a video enthusiast, maybe a vlogger who wants to have that great quality, but with obviously a smaller body. So let's talk about some of the specs. So this is the world's smallest and lightest full frame camera with interchangeable lenses and in body stabilization. The first thing I'm noticing is the side flip out screen. We saw this in the Sony ZV-1 and then the Sony a7S III and now the Sony a7C. This has been one of my favorite upgrades to the Sony lines lately and I'm thrilled that it's in this camera. If it's gonna be targeted for vloggers, you gotta have the flip out screen. This also has advanced autofocus performance and speed and stills in video, including real-time autofocus tracking, real-time eye autofocus, as well as animal eye autofocus. We have 4K video with full pixel readout as well as beautiful bokeh. This camera is also capable of doing 120 at 1080. This does not have a record limit for video shooting, and you also have a lot of different options for audio with the multi-interface shoe. So over here we have the mic jack, we have the slot for the SD cards, we have the micro HDMI as well as the USB-C and the headphone jack. You're also gonna be able to purchase this with a kit lens that's gonna include a 28 to 60 millimeter zoom lens. I unfortunately do not have it yet, but I will be reviewing it if I get it. It's gonna be a very compact lens that will kind of just give you that overall compact feel, but while shooting full frame, high quality content. We also have five axis in-body image stabilization. We have the magnesium alloy body with dust and moisture resistance. This will come in black or silver. So to me, I'm very interested in this as a vlogging camera. It's small, it's light, it's compact. I've also been doing a lot of like overhead shots or a lot of second camera angles. So actually having this as an overhead camera could also be really incredible. I've also been doing a lot of streaming and I think that this has the potential to also be a really incredible stream camera. Let's put on a lens and try Try this out. The 16 to 35 is kind of big, but it's not terribly heavy. So let's try that out. Wow, this is not bad at all. I could actually hold this up and not be in pain. <laughs> Ooh, the buttons feel very nice. Put this into movie mode. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, that was fast. Oh my God, I might start like really vlogging again once I start leaving the house. With the Sony a7S III, they upgraded the menu. And now with this, we actually do not have the new menu. This is back to the original menu. I also just noticed that the menu button is dead center of the back. Wow, that's crazy. Oh my gosh, we also have a viewfinder. That's crazy too. I'm like just shocked right now. I don't even know what to do. Now the flip out display is also touchscreen, which I actually use a lot for spot focus, but I also turn spot focus off a lot because I accidentally touch it a lot of times if I'm vlogging. So spot focus has a purpose, but sometimes it's also the enemy. <laughs> Let's go test out this camera and see what it can do. Actually, before we test anything out, the first test I wanna do is see if it works with my XLR. This is what I have been using. This is the Sony XLR adapter with the shotgun mic and the Sennheiser. It's a beefy boy. Let's see if it works. I also tossed on the Sony wireless shooting grip. 
And the last time I used this was in Utah, and I had it in the mud. Let's see here. Oh my God. This looks so good. Let's go test it out. Yay! We're at a little cafe getting a little coffee. This is the camera's big first day out. The air quality is not much better. I wanted to go to the beach, but it's really not nice outside, Justine. It's not nice outside at all. It's better than it has been the past couple of days. It ha yeah, but like so. to get like cool B-roll shots, like scenery, and no. like hiking, like things we usually do. No, not possible. Scenery is but not nice. Watch this. The autofocus. Fast. It's very fast. Fast and light. Uh -huh. That's what we like. Why does it have a weird texture on the top? Looks like a fish. Looks like a salmon. Is it salmon? No. I guess I have to try it. I mean, I can just tell by holding up this camera how much lighter it is. Because I'm actually able to hold it out for a little bit longer than normal. This is not the most riveting video I've ever done in my life. Maybe you're getting stronger. No, I'm getting weaker. We also can't figure out what type of cheese this is. We think it's a, what did it be, a Munster mm -hmm, cheese? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Munster? Does this have a built-in ND filter? No. No. Answer that. All right, so right now we came down to Santa Monica to kind of check out the beach and the sunset. Unfortunately, because of all the fires that have been happening, just everything outside is gross. The air quality is gross. I haven't been able to really make my, you know, usual nice, fun travel video, and everything just looks really bad. But I will say that this camera looks really, really good. So this also does shoot 120 in 1080. Uh, basically, we were kind of saying it's kind of like the A7 III in the 6500, 6600 bodies. So it's so much smaller, so much more compact. I like the grip, the button, the shutter makes a really cool shutter sound, which I was like, huh. That's new. So really I'm just enjoying this camera so far. It's nice being able to use my lenses in the full frame, don't have to worry about the crop. Let's switch this to S&Q and get a time lapse of uh, one frame per second. It also does the interval shots, but don't tell anyone, but I prefer the S&Q because it makes the movie for me. So I tried to go outside, it was really smoky and terrible. Decided this would be the perfect time to use it as a webcam. So I went ahead and downloaded the Sony Imaging Edge software. I then plugged this in via the USB-C to the USB of my Surface Studio 2. And I'm using Streamlabs. Let's show you guys what's happening. All right, so here's the camera. Here is the Streamlabs, which I usually use for streaming to Twitch. As you guys can see, I just changed the input to, let's see, Sony Imaging Edge. And there I am. Wow, did you guys see that focus? That was fast. Holy crap. I'm so used to using the A7S II, which the autofocus is absolute, I don't wanna call it trash but it's not good. I can see how this would be really helpful if you're looking to upgrade your at-home workstation. I'm already impressed. There is a little bit of a lag with the audio. Uh, honestly, it happens when I stream. It could be Streamlabs. It could be this USB-C cable. I might just need to get a faster cable. And this camera's not out yet, so it's probably gonna need a software update. This is still just a review unit, but it looks so good. This doesn't require any cam link or any capture card. It's just straight into the PC with the software on your computer. Wow. So this was just kind of a first impressions as well as an announcement video, kind of telling you guys about the new Sony Alpha 7C full frame compact camera. I can't wait to actually use it and go outside and film how I normally would use this camera. But I wanted to tell you guys about the price as well as the availability. This camera will be available in late October for $17.99.99. Also the 28 to 60 millimeter zoom lens will be available this winter. It will eventually be sold separate for $4.99.99. But they're also offering this as a kit. So if you do purchase the Sony Alpha 7C with the 28 to 60 millimeter lens, you're actually able to get that for $2,099.99 
combined. I'm really excited to get hands on with this lens. It looks really small and compact. And if that's the case, I really think that that could be the new vlogging rig. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. There'll be a link in the description if you want to check out some more information about the camera. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you again soon for a new video. Also, make sure everyone's staying safe out there. Crazy times going on in the world. Crazy times.